Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Pray Away. This new documentary from Netflix focuses on former leaders of the Pray, Pray the Gay Away movement who are now facing the aftermath of their decisions and all of the damage that was caused by their actions and their movements, while also shining a light with survivors seeking healing and acceptance in their community. And this is from director Christine Stolakis, and this is a really interesting documentary because you have these different interviews with a variety of people who were so adamant about pushing this agenda that you don't have to be gay, being gay is wrong, I don't have to be gay, we can get rid of it because God won't love us, and them talking very honestly about what happened in that time period of their lives in which they were big advocates for trying to make people not gay. And you see them in that time period of their lives, you hear them speaking these thoughts, these ideas, these agendas, and sharing them with people. And then you see them progressively throughout the film get to the point where they are today, and the regret that they have, the horrible feelings that they've caused, and there's a couple of interesting moments where they're confronted on those feelings and confronted on what they've done and having to reflect upon that and that's what makes this documentary so compelling and interesting is that it does go there and has them really think about it's like what have I done and actually confronting that fact and then you have at the center of it this woman who is now getting married to her fiance, this woman that she loves, and you see her talk about the sexual abuse that she went through, the pressures and the expectations that were put on her to be a straight woman and to be a fixture of her church and leading all the way up to today where she could finally have a wedding to the woman that she loves and the passing of Proposition 8 was a big part of this documentary and helping show that devastation, those horrible feelings that gay people felt in terms of being treated like you're not a human being like everybody else, your rights don't matter. And seeing footage of people reacting to that measure, but also the main people on this documentary having to confront those horrible feelings and those heartbreaking reactions to that situation and there's a lot of emotion and a lot of feeling that is packed into this documentary in a very organic and meaningful way. You have a lot of people in this film really confronting their actions in a regretful and constructive way. And I love that about this film, that you see all these dimensions to this scenario, to this situation, to this movement, and really thinking about what the impact was. Now, there's nothing about this film that's particularly interesting and unique from a filmmaking perspective, but there's a raw and very unrelenting perspective that's shown in this film that does make it stand out and make it unique in that way, even if it doesn't have that technical prowess that some other documentaries might boast for themselves. But in the end, I think this is a extremely important and must-see documentary that lays it all out there, lays it all out there on the line, and you're there to just absorb everything that's presented in this film. But those are my thoughts on Pray Away. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.